Well, what's shaking America? It's old Jim Bob on Jim Bob Commentary Channel. Coming at you today, I'm going to talk about free stuff on the internet. I like the internet. I, I told you all that before. I like the internet and the news and stuff like that. I, well, hell, I like uh, canoeing and fishing too, but then we won't talk about that right now. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to talk to you about free stuff on the internet. That's uh, kind of a warning because you got to pay attention to what's uh, free and, and what's not. That's uh, kind of the lesson I'm going to teach you today. So, anyways, uh, I like uh, the free stuff on the internet. Um, that's why I'm on the YouTube because it's free. If I had to pay for it, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. And uh, I heard, I read somewhere yesterday, just to warn you, yesterday I read somewhere yesterday that the YouTube's getting ready to make them a subscription channel where you got to pay them every month. And they're kicking that around, so I may not be out there much longer. I don't know, because I, I ain't got enough viewers to get no subscriptions to pay for me. I might do it anyways if they don't charge me to do it. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, stuff is going. That's the way things are going now. It's a subscription-based on the video side where you pay every month, just like the cable TV. You pay every month uh, to get to watch Jim Bob's commentary. And... Uh, I don't know, I don't want to do it, but uh, anyways, I won't talk so much about that. I want to talk about, about the free uh, the free stuff that's still free. So anyways, uh, I digressed it, I'm going to get back on it. So I was out there one day, a whole couple of weeks ago, and uh, well, i got to tell you this first of all, you know, I, I'm a old fella, and I've been married twice. Uh, married one time to the most wonderful woman in the world. Uh, Loretta, and uh, for 30 something years, and then, like a damn fool, I got divorced and uh, got married again. And that cost me a whole lot of money, but anyways, uh, I've been married twice, so now I'm divorced. And, um, I let Loretta get away, so anyhow. So, uh I like so I still like the girls though. Well, I like to you know I like to talk to the girls and uh, I was looking around for free stuff the other day and I saw the dating channels and uh, said they was free. So uh, I uh, was in the, I put down a adult senior uh, dating channels something like that. Don't something some another don't senior, senior adult, I can't remember what search term I used, but I went on in there and I found me one said it was a free. So, I signed on up in it, and I was uh, filling her out, and like most free things, once you get about halfway in there uh, filling her out, they wanted to know about me and my profile. I was telling them about my profile. And a uh, pretty good profile, I think, really. Anyhow, uh, tell them about it. And um, they, uh, when we go to this profile, might be better. But anyhow, uh, I was telling them about my profile in there, and uh, I looked down there, and boy, I mean, uh, I hadn't even finished filling out my profile, and there was girls emailing wanting to hook it up with me. So I got a little excited, and. Uh, I've never been chased by the women much in my day, anyhow, you know. Either you got them looks or you don't. I got more like the rugged look. You know, well-worn. And, uh, so, uh, I'm filling that thing out, and I got a little excited, and I thought, I'm going to buy into this thing, and I signed on up, paid them, give them a credit card. Damn fool I was, I tell you, anyhow, Went from free to pay. Pop that thing open and uh, man, uh, there was girls everywhere. And then uh, I got this thing on my TV called uh, I'm gonna do a little advertising. Free it's free advertising. I'm gonna charge you for it. I got this thing called Ad Block. It's a good thing to get on your internet so you can block out the ads because I don't like to watch the ads. Um, you can even use it on YouTube, I think. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so I had the ad block on and clicked that on there, but before I clicked it on, I noticed there's a little racy on this uh, channel, but I, I don't bother me. I'm old, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over 21. So I, I went, up, went there and uh, finished out with the profile and was looking around and looked down there and I got a little whole mess of it. Well, I don't know how many there was. I can't remember now. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people liking me. I, I like to be liked, don't you? So I clicked on down there and took a look. Whoo, Lord, God Almighty! There's some young girls down there now. That I, I, I had my picture on it, and, and I had my age on it, and they didn't care. They wanted to talk to me um, anyway, and they weren't. But like some of them was 20 years old, 27 years old, 30 something years old, you know, real young girls is wanting to talk at me right away. It's in a hurry. And uh, so uh, I said, well, I want to look around <coughs> a little bit more. Let's kind of check out this website because it's got stuff everywhere. Click uh, little drop down clicker things, you know. And uh, I saw one up there that said, uh, Free, uh, free videos. I think is what it said. It's a free something. I know it said free. Now I'm telling you, I promise you, it said free. And so I clicked down on it and uh, clicked on the video part on it. And then, man, the minute I clicked on the free video thing, a drop down come down and said, "We charge you twenty nine ninety five." I said, "What? I didn't. Uh, I didn't even seen no video yet." And so I clicked on out of that thing, that made me mad. So I went right on over to the help part, found me the support, and I fired them out of email. I said, look you son of bitches, I don't want no videos that I have to pay for, I like the free stuff. Well, you know how this stuff works, I told you before, you got to wait a while. And uh, so I went on and got on out of that channel, went on and did something else. After a while, I got on in my email, and, uh, no, wait a minute. I hadn't been on that channel. Well, this is true, people. I ain't lying to you. I hadn't been on that channel more than ten minutes. I get a telephone call. It's my bank wanting to confirm that I've been on uh, this or that and the other channel and was it okay and it said it was uh, paid for some kind of advertising and so I said no but it was a recording thing you know I said no nope. and I went then I went on and uh, I don't remember how it went but anyhow I told them we talked and I said well yeah I've been on this channel and I, I signed up for the subscription of it. But I said, I didn't sign up for no advertising. And they said, well, this is the name of the channel. Did, did you do? I said, yeah, that's the one. So I guess everything's all right. That was because the people that was calling me was the fraud alert people. That's what I'm thing. So anyways, I hung up. I went on. After a while, I got an email back from support, a long while. And it said, uh, too bad, buddy. You clicked on it, you bought it. Pretty much that's what they said real nasty and it made me mad so I tried to reply to them I put on there I said you snotty some bitch that's what I put in there I wrote it, I wrote it down just like that and I, 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 I uh, and, uh, fired it back and <laughs> kicked back said they don't think no replies to that <laughs> you can't reply to them <laughs> anyway so uh, I got off of there and I said well heck I better get on my bank account and take a look at my credit card and see what's going on. Sure enough, I went on there and they charged me for the subscription to sign up. Well, that's all right, I, I agreed to that. And uh, they charged me another twenty nine ninety five for another service. I said, well, I'm just scratching my nose, I don't pick it. I said, uh, that's no, that ain't no good. So I went on to the dispute part of a bank account and I disputed it 
But you see here the thing there was two charges. The sign up was twenty nine ninety five. I know that. And the look at the video that I didn't look at was twenty nine ninety five. So I didn't know which one I was disputing. So I just picked me one. It didn't make no difference. But they were different. I didn't, I didn't, they didn't catch that till later. So I disputed the one. All right. Well, then I went on back and I, I said, well, Jim Bob, <laughs> you got to learn the hard way. I went on back to that channel and I. I deleted myself off of it, and uh, the uh, I just had to uh, eat it, you know, lose the money. I just living and learn, you know. So I went on, got on off of that channel, but I left my dispute up there. So uh, other day, I get a phone call. I don't get a lot of phone calls. Not many people call me. I get a call. I was happy to get one. I opened. I said hello, and uh, there's a nice little girl from from my bank. And she said, I'm in the disputing department. And I said, uh, she, said she said, I'm not here to help you with your, your uh, dispute. And I said, well, thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate that. She's a real young little girl. I could tell by her voice she was young. And uh, so she said, uh, are you disputing this at uh, $29.95? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. She said, well, uh, would you mind... Uh, holding on to the line to let me try to connect them people. The easiest way to do this is if I can get them on the phone with you on the phone together and we can dispute. And I said, yeah, that's all right. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So she did. She hooked me on. Sure enough, she got a hold of somebody. Now, I tried to call them. I couldn't get a hold of them. Anyway, she, she, she tried to call. She got them on the phone. And the, and the girl come up on the phone. And I told her my story. And uh, she said, well, let me go to, over to my supervisor. And Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That ain't how it went. And she said uh, she was with, uh, uh, she looked at the charge and she said uh, she was with the actual website. And uh, I said, well, I'm paying that one. And she said, I can't do nothing about the other. Now, somehow or another she could see the other one, but she couldn't do nothing about it. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, this little girl from the bank, we hung up with them people. This little girl with the bank, she was on the ball now, I'll tell you what. So, um, uh, she uh, said, well, we call the other one. So we called the other one and got them on the phone and uh, I told them my story. And she said, well, let me talk to my supervisor. So she put us on the hold and we waited a while, waited a while. Come back after a while and sure enough, she gave me the, said, she, all right, we'll give you the credit on it. We'll take you back off of your credit card and hung up. And so, I thank that girl from the bank. That was a, I'll tell you what. I always get real good service, but that little girl from the fraud department or the or dispute department, she's really on, on the ball. She really fixed that up, and I'm just going to give a little old plug as for Wells Fargo Bank. Uh, I don't like everything about them, but uh, I like that. So that's my story, folks. I, uh, I, I, you got to watch out for the free stuff on the internet because it ain't always free. Well, Jim's out.